but there's something very powerful and potent about doing these four in an order. It's almost like a, a security code or a passcode to some sort of experience, which, you know, I could sit here and describe it all I want, but you're not paying for me to describe it, you're paying to find the experience for yourself. So that's what we're doing. One can forget your responsibilities. One could forget your memories. You could forget your wife or your husband. You could forget your children. You could forget to eat, forget to sleep, forget to breathe even sometimes, but you cannot forget your attachment to your own body. And that's not really something that we want to forget, but it's something that we want to realize beyond, that we have the ability to expand beyond the limitations of our own body. And pranayama brings this. We're preparing our mind for internal exercises. Internal. This is an internal experience. This is drawing your awareness from the external to the internal using the vehicle of the breath. You're almost riding the wave of the breath as it streams over your sinuses, down past your throat and back out. You're following that stream. And so the effect is your consciousness is going from something outside to something inside to something outside and back again. And almost like a spiritual fornication. And with that, we'll bring an awareness of internal emotions and sensations and aberrations in the posture and so on. This is withdrawing your experience internally, which is the fifth limb of yoga. Pranayama is the fourth limb. So we have internal ethical observations, external ethical observations, posture, pranayama, the breathing, then a withdrawal of your senses inward, which pranayama facilitates that experience, and then concentration. Then you have meditation and bliss, enlightenment, whatever you want to call that. But for, it comes in an order. And, you know, for some people that reach enlightenment spot, spontaneously you know, they weren't practicing a method and they may not they may not be able to guide others to get to that place the method or a method is a template for which to improve upon and it's a proven template that for me has been demonstrated by certain individuals uh, a level of self mastery and a level of empathy and openness to change and a fluidity and a grace in their movement and in their communication that is admirable and desirable. I want that. They tell me how to practice and I do it. And so this is all leading towards samadhi, which is uh, ananda, bliss. So we do our asana, or if you do your exercise, Whatever form of exercise I recommend you, I highly suggest you do some form of exercise. We do that to find stillness in our body. We put our body together into pieces. Right now we have fragmented ideas about where is our hand relative to our shoulders, relative to our rib cage, relative to our pelvis and our neck, uh, our tongue, our ears, our toes. These are all dis disorganized in our mind. And the asana, the postures, or any form of exercise, running or something like that, helps bring together to constellate the physical features of our body into a single unified consciousness so that then we can sit still. If you're doing the yoga practice, the postures are an end in themselves. All of the limbs of yoga could be found in each and every posture. More rudimentary, more rudimentary is the postures or a preparation to be able to sit comfortably for long periods of time so that then we can practice pranayam. The pranayam is to make your mind sit still. The asana makes your body sit still to practice pranayam. The pranayama makes your mind sit still to practice meditation and concentration. Vishamavriti nadi shodana bastrika shakti chalana. Sitali as needed. This concludes primary series Pranayam for Ashtanga Vinyasa Yoga. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to hear from you. Namaste. Namaste everyone. I wanted to share that video because to give you a flavor of what the actual product would be like. I meant to share it before I released the product. I didn't get around to it, but I'm in the process of making my next product, Sanyama One 
which has a lot to do with the muscle activation. So if you've ever found the isolated muscle activations on this channel helpful, I'm going to release one of those videos. It's uh, nine activations plus a grouping of them together. But it's at a level that you haven't seen before. Already I know my activation videos are more effective than everything else I've researched on YouTube about those subjects. And yet these uh, new videos that I'm producing has a lot more information and it's very, very efficient in the cues, more so than any YouTube video could be if I just give someone a camera, hey, record me do this. But if you go to ninthlimb.com, you can get the same Ashtanga Primary Series Pranayama product for only $97. Namaste.